Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I am sitting in the dining room. No phone, no nothing. Um, just my coffee and just relaxing and enjoying some quiet. It is 8 a.m. and I fell asleep last night at 8 p.m. Like I was sound asleep by 8 p.m. So that means I woke up around 7.30. I got 11 and a half hours of sleep. I mean, <laughs> I feel amazing and i'm super excited because today's the first day um of vlogmas where there's like no work in sight um i don't return until later in january so um yeah i i don't know what to do with myself i think um this year's vlogmas has gone the fastest um and some of the days have been the toughest uh I think when I set out to do Vlogmas, I decided that I would upload and film on the very same day so that it was very, um, like, just authentic of what that day is. And I think there's something really cool about, like, my 6 p.m. on that day was your 6 p.m. Um, or whatever time zone you live in. But, like, my experiences of that day are the same day that you're living. And I think um, I could pre-film a bunch of things and do all of that, but like to me then, what would be the purpose of it? Because it's about vlogging every day on the day. So um, there were days that were really, really tough, like really tough. Um, you guys know I get up very early. I work a 12 hour day, typically have more work to do when I get home, um, but it has been so much fun. I have enjoyed every second of it. Even on the toughest days, it's like a workout. After you're done, you're so glad you did it. And I'm so grateful for so many of you and the kind and loving comments and just the appreciation you have for it. It's just amazing. And it, it I don't know, it makes this time of year even more special. I spent a lot of time just looking at the tree. And on the tree, not only are there a lot of ornaments from uh, Stephen and I's traveling or certain things about our personality or favorite things that we love. There are also ornaments on there that subscribers have sent me. So if you see right here is like this little crocheted star 
that was sent to me from someone. There's a red crocheted star, and it was a family tradition for her and her family that they would knit these stars. So those are on my tree. There's a, a bunch of hummingbird ornaments that people have sent. I'll show you one of my favorites right now. Let's get up and look at it. So one of my favorite hummingbird ornaments was sent to me last year from one of you. And it has the hummingbird sitting inside of it. Isn't that so cool? Just sitting in the green velvet chair, drinking some coffee, and enjoying the tree in this time of year and just knowing that I have some time to relax and unwind and enjoy. Also, this color of green is legit the best color of green for a dining room. Thinking about today, I actually want to go get ready shortly. I also desperately need to shave and I desperately need a haircut. Um, I need to go finish a Christmas gift for my mom and dad. I also need to do their stockings for them. So there's a lot of those little shopping things to get done. Steven's completely done. Steven's completely wrapped except for one more gift that needs to come. Danielle's completely wrapped. Um, every other gift I have for someone is completely wrapped. So I'm in a good place as far as gifts. And actually the gift I'm picking up my parents, it, I've already paid for. It's just at Target for pickup. Um, so I just have to grab it and bring it home and wrap it. But um, yeah, those are the things on my agenda. I also want to go for a long run outside today and not at the gym. So agenda is pick up the gift, finish the stockings, um, go for a long run, wrap any gifts that get delivered today. Um, oh, do the meal planning and grocery shopping for the next week so it's already done and out of the way. And I think that's... Oh, 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 and tonight, Stephen and I are going to Genesee Country Village. Um, it's an old, uh, it's a village that's set up, I forget what year it's supposed, I think it's like 1800s maybe. Um, very like colonial America. Um, but it's set up for Christmas and they do a Christmas feast and we bought tickets to the Christmas feast and to explore the village and all its Christmas decor. Um, on a snowy cold night. I don't think there's anything better. Um, so we're super excited about that. It'll be a really good time. Um, and then today is also scrumptious Saturday. So I'm going to share my recipe for a savory dip. It's buffalo chicken dip. It is my favorite thing to make. It is one every dip off I've ever entered it in. So I must say it's very well liked. Um, and I don't have a recipe for it. I'm just going to walk you through it and tell you what I do. Um, but yeah, those are the things that are happening today. It sounds like a busy day, so we're going to go ahead and get it started by first cleaning myself up. Also, you guys loved this American Eagle hoodie. I should also tell you that it comes with, well, it doesn't come with pants. It also has a set of matching pants that you can buy. So this is my pajamas for the day. I'm gonna finish up my coffee. Going to enjoy this last couple minutes of quiet. How am I yawning after 11 and a half hours of sleep? And then we will catch up. While I have you up in my bathroom, I thought I'd unbox day 21 of Luxatan with you today. Like I said, this is one I have in my bathroom, so it's like my own little thing that I do every morning. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. I love all the products. Even Steven has taken some of the products and has been using them. Um, day 21. Day 21 is a shower gel, and I'm actually going to take this one in the shower right with me. I also received a shampoo and conditioner that I'm obsessed with. It was like on day like 15 or 16, and I need to order a large one because I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up. Let's get going. I'm already dressed. I'm in normal clothes. Well, I can't say the same. As you can see, I've slept in the outfit that I have now worn for two days. I told them we fell asleep at like eight, PM. You did, yes. Actually, I think you fell asleep at 7.30. Did I fall asleep at 7.30? Because you fell asleep while Judy was on. In the chair. Yes. You fell asleep in your chair last night. How did you make it up to... I don't know. I was already in bed. <laughs> I didn't want to bother you because you were snoring so loud. I just left you snore downstairs and I went upstairs. How did he sleep? Uh, good until 6 in the morning when he woke me up and demanded to go outside. But you go outside? He thought this was a weekday. 
You thought it was a weekday. So I let him out, and then let the other one out. And, uh, Where is the other one? He's in the in the mud room, his oh. preferred dining place. All right, I'm gonna go get a haircut, pick up mom and dad's Christmas gift, get the stocking stuffers, and get all the grocery shopping done. I need a haircut too. I know we both need it desperately. I'm gonna get it before we go tonight. Where are we going? It's the. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. You're right. I am all cleaned up and ready to go get my haircut. I just have my Zara coat on, um, and then I put on one of my Oak custom. Uh, Etsy shop sweatshirts, oh Christmas tree. I'll leave the shop link below again. And then just threw on my Adidas Superstars with like the black and gold. And we're ready to go. He's also getting dressed. What's his outfit of the day? His outfit of the day is an upcountry collar, uh, snowman, snowman design. Oh my God, it was so last season. Well, it was actually probably five seasons ago, but so now. Classics never go out of style. Basic black. It's very slimming. Yeah, you need it. Ah, <sighs> don't say that about him. <laughs> He's old and tender. All right, I'm out of here, babe. Bye. Venus around you as you throw your arms up to the sky. We have a nine o'clock hair appointment. We're gonna get it cut. It's been almost a month. Well, I've not got it cut during Vlogmas, so it's been almost a month since I've got my hair cut. So it is in desperate need. So we'll get that taken care of, and then we will head off to finish up any last minute Christmas shopping that we have. And really, it's just for my parents. So yesterday, my friend and I were having a really interesting conversation around like opinions of others um, and how at a young age, we used to take opinions of others and really truly believe that that was like true about us. And I think as like a bullied kid in my past, like that was something definite that I believed. I believed what people said about me was true. And I think as I come into my own, and I think that really happened in my mid-30s, is that opinions of others say so much more about them as people than about you. People will always make opinions, whether it's in a social media platform or your regular life, based off of a snapshot of something that they see. I wanna tell you, my friends, you will all experience this, but you and the people who know you and the people who are close to you, they, they're the ones that actually matter. And just know that the opinions of others are not the opinion you need to hold for yourself. And just because someone says it about you does not mean it is true. And in most chances, it is an assumption made off of something very small. So my challenge for you is to shrug those moments off, continue to live your truth, and continue to be a nice and kind and humble and loving person. Got all the things unloaded and on the island. I'm gonna go throw on my comfy clothes and get this put away, clean out the fridge, clean out the pantry, and get a move on. So this is our pantry for those who've never seen it. Yes, that is llama wallpaper on the back. Actually, this is a trick for all of you. You don't necessarily need to purchase expensive wallpaper. This is actually double-sided taped wrapping paper that I got at Home Goods, and I just love how it looks. It's like a punch of like quirk, and I love this light fixture. It's so much fun. Anyway, this is our pantry. We never have this much food in our pantry. It's stocked for the holidays. I don't overly organize my pantry. Um, I keep it pretty simple. So on this top shelf are all my canned goods, sides, nuts, and all of them are just labeled with my label maker. Then we have soups, snacks, and then I usually never have more snacks than fit in these bins, but we have extra crackers for cheese platters and all of that. One of my favorite snacks of all time, cauliflower crackers and then pretzels. Like none of this would normally be here. And then down below is a bin of granola bars just to grab saltine crackers, protein powders, all my dry pastas, all my dry cereals, um, like cream of oats, oatmeal, quick oats, still cut oats, all that's there. Vinegars and things are down there. Some overflow of excess tomato sauce. Produce goes in these two bins that needs to not be refrigerated. 
like I said, none of this would normally be here. And then I just have like a baking bin with baking mixes, honey syrups, and peanut butter. And then this collection of bin with all my different flours, powdered sugar, all those types of things, cereals, bagel canisters. These are my favorite canisters of all time, the OXOs. So popcorn popper, had nowhere to put that. And then that's usually out on the island or in Christmas, but it's in here for now. And then my big glass canisters of whole wheat flour, sugar, and flour, which I should have picked up more flour and sugar. Didn't realize I was that low. I picked up this book. I'm gonna start it today. It was on my Christmas read list, um, and I'm almost through all my Christmas books. So I picked up The 19th Christmas by James Patterson. And I'm gonna start this today. I hate peeling stickers off. But there's nothing more satisfying than when it's like a really neat sticker that just peels off so cleanly. Ugh. So literally, I'll fixate on this now. Over here on the table is my dad's stocking, my mom's stocking, and then one of their gifts. Even went to the P.O. box, picked up all this stuff um, from the P.O. box, which is just so kind. I cannot wait to look to see what's in here. And then, yeah, I gotta get those clementines somewhere. This can go into the pantry too. It does not need to be out. How are the doggies on their walk? Good, um, we saw a deer. And that was pretty much, and a corgi. Uh, they weren't together though. I know you love cookies. That's a fancy cookie, too expensive for you. Nothing's too expensive. Actually, his advent calendar came from Williams Sonoma. Mm. And that's surprise. Alright, we'll put the Williams Sonoma gingerbread house here. Put that there. Adds a little festive touch to the pantry. Oh my goodness. I am almost out of um, notebook pages in the notebook I've been using since August. And I was just like, I need to get a new notebook. And now I don't. Look at this. It just says, be kind. From Sarah and Gloria. Well, also, you Sarah is only 11 years old. Hi, Sarah. I hope you have the best Christmas ever. Thank you for my notebook. I'm going to put it straight in my work bag and this is going to be my 2020 notebook. Every time I'm actually going to, in it, I'm gonna put the card that you got so I remember. Um, so every day when I'm using it, I think of Sarah and Gloria. Sarah and Gloria, thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, I've heard of this. Deborah. I am overwhelmed by you. It's a hummingbird, and then it says, the symbol of the hummingbird symbolizes love, joy, and beauty. Its unique ability to fly backwards teaches us that we can look back at our past without dwelling there, but continuing forward. The hummingbird's aptitude to hover while drinking nectar reminds us to savor each moment and appreciate its sweetness. I'm not gonna get emotional. Oh my gosh. It's so weird that I was showing this this morning. This one has two hummingbirds in it. it that's crazy. I'm getting emotional. I also have Deborah's cell phone number. I'm texting her right now. I just sent it. <laughs> she happened to stick her business card in here. Just hope that I texted the right. I texted the right number. We'll see if we get a response, but legitimately just texted her. Deborah, if you're watching this, check your phone. 
at least the mobile phone that's on your business card, so it might be your work phone, go check it. All right, let me get this all cleaned up. I'm overwhelmed. I finished my parents' stockings, but they're not stockings, because you all know this, nothing actually fits in a stocking. So this one is my dad's. I just used the basket I had, wrapped everything, filled it up. This one is my mom's. Some of their gifts are already wrapped under the tree. However, I still have the big one on the table to wrap. And then this just came from my dear friend Jennifer Ross from Pretty Neat Living. Her and I were just talking on the phone. Um, but I'm gonna save this for tomorrow morning. We'll unbox this together. All right, I have to get the big gift wrapped. I'm listening to some Celine Dion. And Steven is upstairs resting. So, yeah. I also have one of Steven's gifts to wrap, so I'll wrap that really quick too. Steven and I are getting ready to go to the Christmas Village. I'm super excited. I actually found, hold on, let me, I'll pull this up. I have found the shirt that matches my cell phone case. I mean, that's epic. So, um, yeah, we're getting ready to go. I'm wearing this Christmas plaid shirt underneath. Um, just a black sweater and then those new black hunters and I have some thermal socks on because I'm afraid it's going to be really, really cold. I have my scarf, my gloves, all the things. Steven's getting ready and then we're going to head on out. How much fun was tonight? I loved it, it was great. I loved it too. I, I, loved it. I didn't know that there were gonna be actors and recreations and it was really, it was really fun. My friends, tonight was like such a magical night. Um, like this being like the first official day of my vacation. It, like Steven and I just had the most wonderful, wonderful time together. Um, I am not going to do advent calendars tonight. Um, we'll, do, we'll do a catch up tomorrow morning. Um, I did pick up some things at the gift store, of course. Um, one is a gift, so I can't show that. But I, of course, got uh, a really cute mug. They had Beekman 1802 stuff, and that mug is just so cute. And then I got a t-shirt, um, Yuletide in the Country. It was so adorable. And then we found this little black dog ornament that reminded us of Bubba's for the dining room tree. So I'm gonna put that on the tree. I'm going to sign off this vlog like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, of course. Bye bye